Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be talking eight new spring summer trends that we're going to be seeing everywhere and of course I'm going to give you girls some styling tips, so some curvy girl styling tips and show you guys how I would style these trends for my body. Just a reminder, I'm a UK size 12, 14, I had a baby 16 months ago, I have a mum tom, I definitely carry my weight a lot there, um, I still carry it in my arms and my legs um, but yeah I'm going to show you how I would style these trends and make them super super wearable. These trends are so exciting for me as well, they're such wearable, lovely trends that honestly I'm so excited for the weather to be a little bit nicer so I can really really start wearing these because they are so good. I also bought a few new pieces for this video that have not arrived <laughs> so when I film the outfits that I'm going to be styling I'm probably going to have to film the ones I'm missing in a couple of days so if my hair looks different the lighting looks different, you know why, but yeah, thank you, um, Every, for taking so long to deliver. So, the first trend I want to talk about is yellow, or the yellow that I'm loving is kind of a buttermilk yellow, I think that's what it, I'm seeing it everywhere called. So, for me, the most, wear, the most easy way to incorporate colour into my wardrobe, because I don't necessarily wear a lot of colour, but when there are colour trends and the ones I know suit me in terms of that colour, then I will absolutely wear them. Now the way I like to do it is more in a kind of easy way into my wardrobe. So maybe it's an oversized shirt, maybe it's a t-shirt and a lot of the time accessories as well. So shoes, bags, those type of accessories I just think look so lovely if you're not necessary, necessarily a colour girly. So this oversized shirt I got from Arquette, which is current season, is a really subtle yellow hue and I just think it is so beautiful. I mean this shirt's going to look good in so many ways but I'm actually going to style it with a pair of uh, denim Bermuda shorts which I got from um, ASOS recently as well. Now Bermuda shorts are a whole new trend, we're not going to go into that, <laughs> we're not going to talk about Bermuda shorts here. I do love them so maybe I'll talk about them, I might do a second video, we'll, we'll see how I get on, um, but maybe I'll talk about them in another video, but Bermuda shorts are going to be massive, so I wanted to show you how I would style this oversized shirt in this beautiful buttermilk, buttermilk? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, <laughs> buttermilk colour with a pair of Bermuda shorts. Now the shirt, um, I ordered, I always size up in these types of shirts because I want them to be really oversized. I can't remember the size I ordered but I'll add it below and then the um, Bermuda shorts are in a size 14 because I definitely wanted them to be not super tight because I don't think that's flattering. And then obviously I'm going to add a belt and then accessories. I feel with like with Bermuda shorts sometimes you need like a little bit of a heel so that's what I'm going to do when I'm styling these shorts because I just think it's a little bit more flattering on your legs but honestly I'm so obsessed with this trend I think it's such a beautiful colour it honestly suits so many people as well again if you want if you're kind of going for like a style similar to mine then I would absolutely go for kind of more easy pieces in this colour so your shirts your um, t-shirts and accessories I mean doesn't mean if I don't find a dress in this I'm not going to go for it because I actually do really want a dress in this colour but it's absolutely beautiful so the next trend I want to talk about is waistcoats. Now, this is not a new trend, but I feel like it's really going to come into its own this season and we're really going to see it everywhere. And the shape of the waistcoats are slightly different. So they are a longer fitting waistcoat, more of a form fitting waistcoat. Um, and I absolutely love seeing these waistcoats styled with kind of a full skirt maxi skirt or a pleated maxi skirt now i'm going to show you this waistcoat that i actually showed you in my last video um at this waistcoat but i wanted to show you again it's from h&m i really love it it was a really good price i think it was around 25 pounds and i just think it looks so beautiful with a full pleated skirt this one is from arquette which i literally just got really recently and honestly, it's such like a feminine, kind of ladylike look, but I think it looks so, so beautiful. And 
again pleated skirts is a completely another trend again <laughs> which I'm not going to talk about but it is something we're going to be seeing and I just love the fact that you can combine those two trends with the longer line waist skirt and the pleated maxi skirt it's so flattering for us curvy, curvy girls as well because obviously the pleats are not going to cling on our stomach area um, the waistcoat is fitted on the top so it's going to accentuate our waist make our proportions look really lovely um, and again if you don't like having your legs out then obviously the pleated skirt is covering that up um, and honestly it's such a beautiful look so I'm very excited to see waistcoats all over the place and I want various different ones in lots of different colours <laughs> So next trend is chocolate brown and again I love this trend. I love the colour brown. It's actually not something I have a huge amount of in my wardrobe so it's definitely going to be something that I invest in um, more pieces into my wardrobe and so I'm going to show you now that I've got these trousers from Cos and also t-shirt from Cos. The trousers from Cos are quite a dark chocolate brown whereas obviously the t-shirts are lighter brown. Now don't be afraid to mix these two colours together. I think they look absolutely beautiful and again you're kind of going for that chocolatey brown look but I don't think the hues have to be exactly the same. If they are that also looks cool but I think it looks really nice when they're slightly different. Now you guys, if you have seen my video, my last video about how to hide a tummy, I am always here for wide leg pleated trousers. Always. They are just the most flattering thing on a curvy figure. Super high waisted with a wide leg with pleats to cover your tummy area. I just think it looks so beautiful. And with an oversized tucked in t-shirt uh, on the top, it's really going to accentuate your waist. Really going to cinch in your waist. And also, another, another trend. I keep, I'm just putting two trends into one in each of these looks. <laughs> Another trend is um, accessory pieces like the one I'm wearing, which I'll style with this outfit, which is from um, Cos again. And these beautiful little accessories, they're a little bit more statement. So we're gonna see it in earrings, we're gonna see it in necklaces. I just think it looks so beautiful with this kind of tonal look, which is really quite simple. And again, I'm so excited for sandals so i'm gonna start this with sandals i said when we get to 15 degrees i'm gonna do sandals we were basically 15 degrees the other day so i'm very excited about the prospect of sandals now also guys do not be afraid to put a black accessory with a brown look i think it's kind of a taboo that you don't do that but that's from ages ago so don't listen to it because black and brown look so good together so i'll absolutely be styling this look with black accessories and yeah I just think it's such a wearable beautiful trend for spring summer and it makes me so excited. So the next trend is also something I'm excited I'm excited about all these trends like who am I trying to kid? <laughs> I'm very excited about this next trend and it is white dresses. Now the dress I'm going to show you is going to be a maxi dress. Now the two types of dresses I'll be definitely wearing this spring summer are a maxi version and a mini version. Now I have a beautiful reformation um, white mini dress from um, summer last year it is very summery like it's not something I would bring out for spring just yet whereas I feel with maxi dresses you can kind of make them a little bit more springy you can warm them up a little bit with your accessories when it's not really that warm yet but I feel like with a white mini dress it's harder to do that so I'm not going to bring that just yet out yet so I'm going to show you obviously a maxi length dress obviously as we get towards more towards summer you'll definitely see me in mini dresses it's just at the minute I'm too cold <laughs> so I need my maxi dresses but the white maxi dress is just going to be everywhere and it's not necessarily a specific shape or a specific style it's whatever you're drawn to it's whatever you love I love this smock style maxi dress from Lulu Studio I think it's so beautiful I actually got this in the sale um, when it was more in the winter I think it was actually in the January sales so I'll see if I can find it but if I can't I'll find something similar and this is just such an easy dress to throw on as a curvy girl don't be afraid to wear oversized don't be afraid to, to wear a more smocked dress now as this has the details around the waist you could belt this if you feel like you needed to and give yourself a bit more structure and actually that would look really beautiful but there's so many white dresses out there that are so flattering for us especially if you want to go for a maxi hemline and yeah it's an exciting wearable trend and yeah I absolutely love it so the next trend is pops of red and again you're not going to be surprised about this because we saw it 
um, over the, the autumn winter period and it was beautiful. We saw it a lot in kind of knits but now I think we're going to be seeing it a lot in um, kind of dresses, in t-shirts and accessories. I have a pair of red ballet pumps on my wish list from um costs that I really really want also a red bag I think would be beautiful um I'm going to show you a red t-shirt that I got from Koss again just putting a simple t-shirt in this kind of trending color into your wardrobe is a really cost effective and really easy way to bring this trend um, into your kind of every day and wear it really easily and this is such a beautiful t-shirt from Koss I think t-shirts from Koss are probably one of the best t-shirts from Koss, Arquette and Uniqlo Uniqlo's t-shirts are amazing as well it's such a beautiful colour of red I really wanted that vibrant red colour I didn't want it like an off red I didn't want an orangey red I wanted it like a really red red because I think that's a trend that we're seeing at the minute and it's such a flattering colour again red is my colour it's not always the colour I like to wear, but it definitely actually is my colour. Um, and yeah, it's such a beautiful colour and such a beautiful trend. And it, again, it's wearable and you don't have to be a colour girly to wear it. You can just wear it in really simple, easy ways. And again, I would style this as I'm obviously styling a t-shirt for you guys. This is not a super oversized t-shirt. This is more of a kind of a relaxed style t-shirt um, but it's not super super oversized so I would wear this with some kind of simple black trousers these are beyond nine I go on about beyond nine all the time and I'm still gonna in this video um, these trousers are just a really simple relaxed shape they look really nice with a relaxed t-shirt and then again a pair of um, ballet pumps it's just such an easy outfit it's so flattering on a curvy body and you know what it's so comfy running around after a toddler I'll tell you that so the next trend we're going to be seeing is double denim and again this is not groundbreaking but it's such a good trend and it's so easy to wear. Now I am obviously if you've watched any of my other videos obsessed with a wide leg jean so I think it looks so good with double denim if you're wearing a wide leg jean, a really oversized shirt that's a similar hue but it can be slightly different i think that looks really cool as well but the similar hue of denim um either oversized completely oversized or you wear something that's a little bit more fitted and tucked in i think the tucked in version looks amazing if you've kind of got a more dressy shoe as well it kind of makes the outfit look a little bit more elevated i'm going to show you with this really oversized um shirt from beyond nine and these week weekday jeans which are an essential jean in my wardrobe I wear them all the time and then I'm going to make it really casual and pair of a pair of trainers and I just think it's such an easy simple look to wear I've said to you guys before about not being frightened about full oversized looks when you're curvy and you really shouldn't be like it's not obviously going to show off your figure it's not going to accentuate certain parts of your body but just because you're curvy it doesn't mean that you can't actually wear full oversized because I absolutely think you can and it's such a comfy look such a fashion forward look so yeah don't shy away from it try it out see how you feel for me I just love wearing oversized looks I it just feel like me when I'm wearing them but double denim we're gonna see everywhere and actually I'm looking for a lighter wash shirt um as we get more towards spring and summer um because I have some lighter wash jeans and I think that would look so good and maybe tuck it in this time seen one in H&M actually I'll link it for you guys so you've got that so the next trend we're going to be seeing everywhere is suede bags now <laughs> I feel like these trends I'm telling you are not groundbreaking one of the reasons I'm telling you these trends is because that's kind of not my fashion style anyway to be super super groundbreaking you know wearing the kind of craziest fashions I like more of a classic wardrobe and I like to integrate these fa trends into my wardrobe in a more easy way and a less conspicuous way <laughs> so suede bags are definitely something we're seeing everywhere and I just think they're so beautiful don't take them out in the rain maybe that's the only stressful thing about a suede bag and we have a lot of rain in the UK but they are such a beautiful bag and I am so excited again this is one of the pieces that um has not arrived yet <laughs> so we're gonna have to chop this back in later but I ordered this bag from Arca and actually a lot of the suede bags we're seeing at the minute are quite oversized tote bags which I do adore and I've definitely got that on my wish list to buy but actually I wanted like a more of a crossbody one I love this kind of I don't know if we call it the shape I'm calling it the shape 
banana shape i think it's such a nice shape and i think it's so wearable and i really wanted a bag like this because it's really practical for me just to chuck over me when i'm with my little girl we're running around and i can't really be thinking about you know having a bag over my shoulder um, and you can really fit a lot in this as well it's actually very practical now i would style this bag because it is quite casual i'll try and elevate it a little bit so I'm wearing this, it's actually a, um, a satin maxi, silk maxi dress actually from Arquette. I've chucked over this really oversized knit from Andor Stories with the bag and then I would definitely style with a pair of sandals. I think as we're going to get into warmer weather, I love that kind of knitwear and sandal pairing. I think it looks so good. It's that transitional style which is so exciting about spring. Uh, again, we're going for more of an oversized look over kind of more of a form-fitting dress. And again, just because we're curved, I don't think we should be saying no we can't wear these I think it looks so good it's such an easy look and yeah I'm really excited about the suede bag trend as well so the final trend that I want to talk about and this is something I've already spoken about in two of my videos already so my jacket video and my how to hide a tummy video because honestly this is such a flattering trend for us curvy girls I don't think there's anything more flattering actually and that is the wasted blazer now I have shown you this blazer before from a line. They actually do, for me, they do the best ones. H&M have some really good ones as well, um, and they are obviously more affordable, um, but a line have some really beautiful ones. And this one is so lovely. Obviously, it's a more oversized style. You can get them that are a little bit more fitted, um, but this blazer will nip you in at the waist, and it just skims every body part beautifully creates a beautiful silhouette and I love styling with a pair of jeans which is again another trend and doing it again with this one <laughs> which is the horseshoe or barrel leg jean and um, I've kind of seen them being called this in multiple these different names in multiple places and um, but actually these are from free people and then they call them barrel leg jeans on their website and they're this type of shape jeans which kind of do look like a horseshoe so I get that naming um which we're going to be seeing everywhere this season and again they're such a comfy easy to wear vibe and I love wearing with this waisted blazer because it is a little bit more elevated so wearing with a more casual jean I think brings down um, that styling a little bit if you want to kind of wear for every day because for me I don't go out out a lot <laughs> so I need my pieces to work quite hard for me I need them to work in a casual environment but also in a more dressy environment as well if I want to dress them up and I think these blazers are amazing at doing that again because they're a little longer line they cover your tummy they're so flattering for us curvy girls and honestly they're one of my most exciting pieces and yeah again such an easy to wear trend and such an easy trend for us curvy girls so my next video, as I've been doing this video, I've definitely thought I want to do a number two video because there's some trends that I've kind of touched on this video but not really touched on them as much as I would like to. So I'm definitely going to do a second video on spring summer trends and how we can style them as curvy girls because honestly, I think that's so important um, to be able to obviously style as curvy girls and feel like we can incorporate those trends into our wardrobe um, even though that obviously we're curvier realised we've got to the end of the video and I've not spoken about what I'm wearing today um, but I'm wearing this top from Massimo Duty. this was in another of my videos as well um, this necklace as I spoke about before is from Koss and then my trousers are from Uniqlo they are the best most affordable trousers in the world ever so I will link those and thank you so much for watching my video today I've really enjoyed talking about spring trends I'm so excited for them I just want to buy everything at the minute which is how I am when we start transitioning to a new <laughs> season i just want everything and i've been really excited to talk to you guys about this and yeah next video will be my next pieces or my next trends i want to show you guys how to style them and thank you so much for watching and follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok and thank you guys